begin now with breaking news. Thanks for joining us here on Cron 4 News at noon. I'm Noel Bello. That breaking news this afternoon, multiple reports of either active shootings or shootings that have taken place at schools across the Bay Area. We want to be clear. All of the reports have been unfounded and deemed a hoax. Those threats came to schools in San Francisco, San Jose, South San Francisco, and Woodside. We're starting with South San Francisco High School. That school was placed on lockdown around 10 o'clock this morning when police received a call of an unauthorized person on campus. That's when the school went into lockdown. The lockdown was lifted in just the last hour when police concluded there was no merit to the phone call. Cron Force Camila Barco is joining us live now there from campus. Uh, Camila, I know you've been speaking with parents this morning. There are many of them still gathered there right behind you. What are they saying? Yeah, well, no, as you can see behind me, there are dozens of parents lined up right now because they are waiting to see and reunite with their child. They heard this news, they heard it from their phones, and many of them came here to campus to get their child. As you can see me, this is, well, I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can get a better look as to the scene here in South San Francisco. Kids, I mean, excuse me, parents are just waiting outside to pick up and see their kids. One parent tells me that they rushed here as soon as they heard that there might have been an active shooter. But, Noel, as you mentioned, this has been deemed as a hoax. Take a look at your screen. This is some video captured just within the last few minutes outside South San Francisco High School. Police tell me that they got a call at 947 this morning about a man on campus on the second floor and that there was an active shooter trying to get into some rooms. That's when South San Francisco police responded and the school was put on lockdown. Officers went into every room to make sure that the school was safe and that there was no active shooter. After every room was checked, the school was cleared, and they lifted the lockdown. Police tell me there was, there was no suspect found, and there was no evidence of a shooter. And now parents are reuniting with their kids. A lot of them are outside, like I said, waiting to see their child. I did speak to one parent. She rushed here immediately. She lives two blocks away. She didn't want to be on camera, but this is what she had to say. Uh, a little high on alert right now. Like I'm a little, a little upset. Uh, I wish we would have like knew something right away instead of hearing a text like 10 minutes later. Um, but I am just, you know, thankful that there's no bloodshed and nobody's hurt and everybody's going home safe. And I hope like nothing happens in the future again. Now, San Francisco Unified School District tells us that school is still going on and Noel parents can pick up their students and that will count as an excused absence absence. Excuse me. As far as this investigation goes, well, police tell me that they will investigate and look into who made this call again. It happened at 947 this morning. This has been deemed as a hoax. There has been no active shooter found. No suspect has been found and no evidence of an active shooter. And right now, police tell me that they will stay here for the remainder of the day. Again, this is a live look here outside South San Francisco High School. Many parents waiting to reunite and see their kids after what they had um, heard this morning. But, uh, Noel, I'll toss it back to you. Camila, I know those parents must be so shaken up. I myself even have goosebumps. We know that uh, these sorts of things actually do happen. So for someone to call in a hoax is, is really upsetting. Camila, thank you for that live report. As I mentioned earlier, there were several other schools who received similar phone calls calls all around the same time this morning. George Washington High School in San Francisco's Richmond District was one of them. Officials confirming in the last hour there was no credible threat threat there and no lockdown was required. We also received reports of threats made at Woodside High School in San Mateo County around 10 a.m. Police saying the campus is in secure mode. All students and staff there are safe. Then just before 11 a.m. we received reports of multiple students shot at Lincoln High School in San Jose. Police officers responded immediately to that school. They cleared that campus and have also determined those calls were a hoax and potentially linked to those phony calls at the San Francisco schools. Again, at this point, all claims of shootings in Bay Area schools have been deemed false. Police are reminding everyone false reports to law enforcement are illegal, and each office is investigating where those threats may have come from. This is, of course, developing this afternoon. We're going to continue to follow the stories and bring you the very latest updates throughout our show.